the rate constant for the decomposition of hydrocarbons is 2.418 multiplied by 10 to power minus 5 per second. This is the rate constant k value is given, k is rate constant. At 546k, this is the temperature is given, temperature T. If the energy of activation means Ea value is given, Ea is equal to 179.9 kg per mole. The question says, uh, what will be the value of pre exponential factor? Pre exponential factor is represented by a symbol capital A. It is also known as a frequency factor. It indicates the frequency of collisions between colliding particles. Colliding particles means reacting molecules in a reaction. Well, let us apply Arrhenius equation, which relates the pre exponential factor A and energy of activation. The equation is log k, k is a rate constant is equal to log a is a pre exponential factor minus Ea, Ea is a uh, is an energy of activation divided by 2.303 R is a gauge constant T is the temperature. You can see a rate constant Ea value and temperature T values are given in the question. R is a gauge constant it is equal to 8.314. We can pr plug in these known uh, variables and find out pre exponential factors A. Let us do it log and rate constant k value is given 2.418 2.418 multiplied by 10 to power minus 5 is equal to log a minus e a value you can see that it is given in kg per moles and our gas constant value that we are going to use will be in joules per mole k that is why we convert kg per mole into joules per mole so that same units will cancel out uh, we know that 1 kj is equal to 1000 joules that is why we multiply 179.9 by 1000 and it we have joules per mole. We write this value in scientific notation we move this decimal before 7 then you will have 1.799 multiply by since we move this, this decimal on left side before 2 digits you will have positive exponents 10 to power 2 multiplied by 1000 can be written as 10 to power 3 and we know that in multiplication the exponent values are added therefore the final value will have 1.799 multiplied by 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 that is why we have 10 to power 5 and it is joules per mole this is the energy of activation in joules per mole. Let us plug in the value here. Here we have 1.799 multiplied by 10 to power 5 and the unit is it is 5 joules per mole. Well, divided by 2.3 not 3, R value is equal to 8.314 and its unit is joules per mole k. And temperature value is given here that is 546k. We plug in 546k. K is the Kelvin unit of temperature. Kelvin, Kelvin will cancel out. Joules per mole, joules per mole will cancel out. Let us simplify. Well, you can multiply all the denom denominators values, then the value will get to 104543. We write this value in scientific notation. We move this decimal before 0, then you will have. 1.045 multiply since uh, uh, this uh, uh, this decimal we are moving on left side before four digits then you will have positive exponent 10 to power 4 now you can divide 1.799 uh, by 1.045 here you will get 1.723 and we know that in division exponent values are subtracted in a numerator you have 10 to power 5 and the, in the denominator you have 10 to power 4 that's why we subtract here 5 minus 4 the we have we have 10 to power 1 is equal to 10 this side you have only 1.723 multiplied by 10 this side we apply logarithm product rule therefore log bracket 2.4 
one eight plus log ten to power minus five is equal to this log a minus here we have one point seven two three multiplied by ten. Let's move on. Well, log of two point four one eight is equal to 0 0.3835 and here you can see log 10 to power minus 5 we apply logarithm power rule then you have minus uh, 5 uh, log 10 and log 10 is equal to uh, 1 minus 5 multiplied by 1 is equal to minus 5 here we have log a minus you can multiply 1.723 by 10 you will get 17.23 we can uh, transfer this this value on left side then we get log one side log a is equal to we put this value here 0 0.3835 and minus 5 you can see it is negative value and if you transfer it on left side the other side it will become positive then we have positive value 17.23 17 you can add up positive values uh, these two value are positive that is why we add up then the value we get 17.6135 and so this negative value we have minus 5 and this side we have log a is equal to we can do the subtraction here we get the value 12.6135 this is log a value well you can transfer log on right side then you will get nt log of 12.6135 or else you can multiply this entire set of by nt log then left side you will get only a because uh, nt log multiplied by log both will cancel out then you will have exponential factor a is equal to nt log of 12.6135 you can take uh, nt log of this value nt log of uh, 12.6135 is a quite large value so i write it in scientific notation that is equal to 4.1 multiplied by 10 to power 12 well, you can see that the unit of uh, rate constant is given per second. That is why the unit of a pre exponential factor will also be in per second. This is the value of pre exponential factors.